Court documents say the manager at that HEB in Elgin witnessed the shooting. Between that and the surveillance video, police were able to make an arrest. This is Heather. She was in, on, she's on Jen. Okay. Our partner station in Houston, KTRK, caught up with one of the survivors of a terrifying shooting in Elgin, talking about what happened on social media. Nobody deserves anything like this. Today, we're learning more about what exactly happened in that parking lot at the HEB in Elgin. It started as a mistake. One of the girls thought Pedro Teo Rodriguez Jr.'s car was hers and tried to get in. When she realized the mistake, she got back in her friend's car. I see the guy get out of the passenger door and I roll my window down um, and I was trying to apologize. Today, Elgin police released this probable cause complaint against the 25 year old. It says the HEB manager saw a Hispanic man shoot the white Kia the girls were in multiple times. Detectives looked at surveillance video of the parking lot, which showed Rodriguez's license plate. Elgin police note in the probable cause document that they are familiar with Rodriguez from previous encounters. Peyton Washington was the cheerleader who suffered the worst injuries. The Stony Point senior had already made the acro and tumbling team at Baylor University for next year. Head coach Felicia Mulkey visited her at Del Seton. She's a fighter. She's very strong. Coach Mulkey went on to say, quote, she looks great, all things considered. She is making good progress even in a short period of time. She seemed to be doing well, but there's still a long way to go. The cheerleading community is showing lots of support on social media for Peyton and the Woodlands Elite Generals team during these difficult days. There is a GoFundMe to help Peyton and family. You can find the link on our website. The General's managing partner, Lynn Shearer. Very helpful for a full recovery including the doctors. I think that she will fully recover. She's an incredibly strong um, athlete, incredibly strong person. I reached out to Round Rock ISD, but the district told me that school personnel were not available to talk today because of statewide star testing. They did say that Stony Point High School students were notified directly. Reporting in Round Rock, Adele Uchida, CBS Austin News.